guys, so today's video, I'm going to do a makeup look. I'm not sure how it's going to go out yet, so I'm just going to see how it goes with the flow. Um, I don't think I'm going to do... I think I might do a chit chat get rid of me. I'm not sure yet, so if you want to see me getting ready, then just keep watching. So first, I'm just going to clean my eyes use the Garnier Skin Naturals Express 2-in-1 Eye and Makeup Remover. I'm just going to shake this up and just use a cotton pad just to wipe away the rest of my eye makeup because we all know that ain't pretty. So how's everyone's New Year's resolution going? Mine's going pretty good. Um, I've lost three pounds since I started doing it. Um, well I lost four pounds and then I gained a pound. Um, <clears throat> but I'm feeling it very very good I'm not like bored of it yet which usually I'm just like I forget about it completely so I think I'm doing it pretty damn good um, excuse the tan on my hands by the way as you can see I've got white knuckles but I always like stop here um, just so then it looks a little bit more natural. Um, but I've got like a very white finger at the minute. <laughs> so, but it needs washing. This this needs a bit of a wash. So, but I uh, accidentally straightened my hair before I could wash it. <clears throat> got me green tea. Mm. I'm going to use two primers today because one for uh, to like even like even out my skin tone and another one just to cover my pores and everything so I'm going to go in with the Perk Me Up Skin Brightening Primer by Look Beauty and this one just says beauty sleep isn't always an option cheat eight hours with a dab under the brows eyes and wherever it needs a boost so and I have like very very bad under eye circles so this should do me wonders I'm like obsessed with primer at the minute wow. I'm just going crazy <laughs> and then I'm just going to go in with the Pore Minerals Colour Correcting Primer just to even out my skin tone, make sure everything is even. So, yeah, I've been like going crazy about makeup, like ridiculously crazy. So, I think I can actually blame that on um, Rosie. So, um, Thank you, Rosa. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> this primer feels freaking amazing. Like, it literally just glides over your skin. And it looks... Oh, I just love it. So, what foundation shall I use? I think I'm going to use the... I need to get one that's like more tan to match me when I'm super duper tanned. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Infrabel 24 hour foundation. My new favourite foundation of all time. Um, I've not used this in like probably a week so. Because I've been trying out um, my older foundations like the L'Oreal True Match. And uh, the Sleek Foundation. Just because I want to, I don't want to like give up on them and just be like, they're never going to work, so. I'm just going to use a damp sponge. More foundations, because I don't want to like just give up on them, I want to like tried them out again um so i tried out the l'oreal tree match again and i quite liked it <laughs> uh, just it 
it just it's just perfect this one actually matches me like tan now a tan line right there <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've been trying out more foundations that I didn't used to like, so I tried out these three foundations, so the L'Oreal True Match, the L'Oreal Nude Magique and the Sleek Bare Skin Foundation. This one I wore yesterday, I felt like I needed to definitely touch it up, it wasn't coming off, it was just getting a bit um, like oily and like sort of sliding off my face um but the first time i didn't really like it so that's what i mean i'm trying to try new things out this one i used the other day because my skin got incredibly dry so i didn't want to use any drying foundation so this one is definitely grown on me again now and the l'oreal true match i used to hate this and now i actually quite enjoy it and i will be trying it out again um i don't think i'm going to wear it out yet because i don't want to wear it out and be like Oh my god, it's coming off. Um, so, <clears throat> that's why I've been trying out new foundations because I don't want to get bored of foundations that I didn't used to like. Um, I'm going to use the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in shade Fair 1 to highlight my under eyes. I actually need to get some more of this because I am almost out. Like, this is probably going to do me, like, one more job. I have the uh, LA Girl concealers coming, so... I want to... Well, I was hoping this would last me until then. But um, I might as well pick up a new one because I know I'm going to use it again. Um, and then I'm just going to use the other end of my damp beauty sponge. Just because I find this, like, the best way to get all my concealer in and it doesn't like move around or anything it literally just pats in to my skin and then i just like to go back around my concealer sometimes just to make sure i've not got any harsh edges where I have blended out my concealer. And then to set all my face, I'm gonna use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in 001 Transparent. And I just can't get enough of this, like, I freaking love it. Like I can't, I never like look through all my like setting powders and be like, yeah, I'll use that today. I'll literally just go for this one because I know it's gonna work wonders. And I'm just gonna use this Color, color, is that how you pronounce it? Blush brush in 402. Um, I've been using this for quite a while under my eyes just because I find it's like the good shape just to get right in there under my eyes instead of like a big blush brush. So. And I don't like my under eyes not being set because my eyes, like under my eyes really crease so. If you guys have got any um, concealers that you would recommend, um, then let me know because I love under eye concealer and the Last of Perfection is pretty much the only one that hasn't greased on me yet. I didn't like the, I think it was the Rimmel one, the one with the, um, the orange top. I'm just gonna set the rest of my face with the Real Techniques powder brush. Um, yeah, I didn't like the Rimmel one. I, it just I like ones with full coverage because they have quite heavy under eyes, so I like them to be definitely set in place. brows high definition brows professional base palette i absolutely love this to contour um 
but I have hit pan on quite a few so I'm just going to use this Fash fan brush um, I like I just I love it but I really want to try out the Anastasia is it that you pronounce it Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and when I'm tanned I'm just gonna I go in with the shade 9 in this palette and today I'm feeling a nice harsh contour my nose I'm going to use the Fash Blending Brush. I love this brush. It's just like I'm going to use in go in with the shade 3. Just because it's a lot lighter. I don't want it to be like too harsh down my nose. contoured my nose as you can see it's quite harsh so I'm just going to go in with this brush which is linked down below it's a set of 10 and they're really really good brushes so it's just a flat top angled brush and I always like this to blend out anything I have done like any eye makeup or any contouring that's quite harsh I just like to use this to blend it out it looks really harsh on camera but it's not as harsh on in person and then I'm gonna have a bit more green tea recently I've been loving doing my brows with the HD brows high definition eye and brow palette and I've just been using the shade ash blonde which is this shade right here and I've just been using this angled brush so I just like to dip in and then tap off because I've noticed there's been a lot, a lot of like fallout and I've noticed like by tapping it off a lot more that my eyebrows are less harsh so I've been doing that. rest of my face I'm going to use the blush brush by Real Techniques and the Bajoir powder bronzing powder and I just love this powder I've hit pen. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. stipple brush and the Poor Minerals blush in Diamond Rose and I've literally, ever since I got this, I've not stopped using it. It's just my new favourite. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution um, Redemption Palette Iconic 1. So this is the dupe for the Naked 1 palette. Um, I only have the Naked 3 but the dupes are like exactly the same. Pigmentation is exactly the same. They're just really really good dupes. So if you're looking to get the Naked palettes or anything like that then I'd definitely check out Makeup Revolution first especially if you're starting out then don't want to like spend loads of money on something that you might not like and to get a dupe then why not get the dupe <laughs> then I'm just going to go in with this blending brush which is another one to the set that I showed you before and I'm just going to go in with I don't know the shades so I'm sorry about that I'm just going to go in with this shade right here 
And I'm just going to take that all over my eye. shade right here which is another matte darker matte shade and uh, I'm just gonna go in with this elf professional blending eye brush I do like this blending brush but I find it's a bit harsh and then I'm just gonna go through my crease and just above it just because I have quite a heavy eye first shade the lattice shade on the palette and I'm just going to take that in at my inner corner just to highlight and I'm just going to leave my eye makeup like that and I'm going to go in with the MUA makeup kind of intense colour in jet black and I'm just going to line my top waterline. And then I'm just going to go in with this Eco Tools Define brush and the Trey Moya black gel liner which I freaking love. with these very cheap eyelash curlers I've been finding like my eyelashes don't stay curled as much and I have to curl them every day so I don't know what's going on there and I'm just going to use one of my new favourite uh, mascaras the volume, volume million lashes um, L'Oreal Par Paris mascara in black and usually I wouldn't go for these just because they've got a plastic wand and I don't usually like those but I've been finding my eyelashes looking a lot longer with this mascara Eyelash lashes. These are just very, very natural lashes which I wear every day, and I'm just going to use the Eyelash Lash Fix Strip Lash Adhesive. clean my lashes um, so they don't get all clumped up and everything and then I'm going to use for my lips I'm going to use the Rimmel London 063 East End Snob my new favourite lip liner the only problem with this is I find it like it it will run out super duper quick but like I've used this that's all that's left and I've used this, you don't get much anyway, but I've used it three times, so. But I love this lip colour, like, I just think it's perfect. So, this is my finished makeup. Um, I quite liked how it turned out actually, it's, I know it's really, really simple, but I think it's nice and warm it just looks very fresh and just youthful so 
I really hope you guys enjoy this look and if you want to see more chit chat get, get ready with me's and just quick get ready with me's then let me know down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out my social media down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.